We have made some very exciting improvements to the draft projection tool. I'm just gonna walk you through step by step. So this is already live inside of your account. I just wanna make sure that you know exactly how to run through these things. So I'm gonna walk you through all the new things, uh, all the nuances to it, and really why we did them. So when you create a projection, the first thing you notice is that we've created a little bit cleaner kind of a step structure here. Um, we've added some stuff and we've also subtracted some stuff. But let's say that we're gonna do this for my business, Webris Agency. We are webris.org going to do this in the US but of course you can select other keyword databases as well now what we've added down here is the must-have keyword so what is a must-have keyword a must-have keyword are keywords that your website is not currently ranking for so for example we just relaunched and retarget our website to just go after law firms I already know off the top of my head that we're not going to be ranking for a lot of keywords because we're a newer website and this can also be validated if you look in Ahrefs or SEMrush or really whatever your kind of website analysis tool of choice is you'll be able to start by looking at the existing keywords of, of a website right in its own platform and then make a determination just manually about this what the website is not currently ranked for and you can add them in so we come back over here right you can see that we can add in competitors if we want or we can upload keywords and or both right so when i say and you can do both of them you can add in keywords you can add in competitors you can also add in keywords that you want to rank for manually so again going back and saying okay i don't know if the competitors are going to have it or they just they're not close enough to what we want to look at for this website so you don't have to include competitor keywords in here anymore you can just look at your existing keywords right and then you can also add in must have keywords up to 100 that you know you're going to want to rank for so like for us so be like legal marketing agency and you can upload them as a csv too you know marketing agency for law firms seo for law firms etc right that would be under the assumption that i did some analysis and i knew what we were not ranking for right and then you can just do some light keyword research and you can add them back in here and then we'll take care of handling all the data for you now you can also add in competitors and i'm going to do that but again you don't have to right and this is actually something that we're doing a little bit less of for our uh targets in the pipeline because we're finding that again we work with law firms right so we're finding that a lot of their competitors have kind of just garbage keywords that are not necessarily important i'm just going to click go to the next step with this screen here they're not necessarily important keywords that we don't even want to waste time analyzing so instead we're just saying okay this is what you have this is what we know you should have let's build a forecast based on the keywords that we know we want to rank you for so this first table here will show you uh website by website performance right to just kind of validate this screen here then it will also show search volume by domain uh search value by domain right so you can see long rank killing it two million dollars a month we're just little peons over here and then in terms of traffic so assuming these look good right then we go to the next step which is to filter for the keywords now we've also changed this dashboard up here we've cleaned this up a lot in my opinion so we have the current scenario of do nothing right so this is just saying based on historical performance if you do nothing that you're going to lose 46 percent traffic over the next year this is easily calculated based on historical traffic now the next one over here is own keyword growth so this is saying based on the current keywords that you have right what is a realistic growth scenario here right and then we have new keyword and addressable market. These are grayed out because we're going to handle that in the next step. So what we can do here is we can just auto apply these target positions. This gives you the logic here, which I like to do, right? So if we auto apply these target positions. It's going to take a minute to load. It's going to auto apply growth forecast based on the position. So if it's above position 20, it's not going to assign any sort of target position to it. If it's between uh, 10 and 20, it's going to move it to 10, right? If it's between five and 10, it's going to move to five. It's between five and low, it's going to move it to one. So the reason why we do that is because you can manually apply different growth logic. So you can see here, based on the forecast that we provided in our existing keywords, that's six to eight percent. Now, I highly, highly encourage you to go through these and, you know, make sure that one, you don't want them to be included or two, they are in the right position. So when I look at this one here, right, if we say, OK, this page here about SEO reports, 24 on search volumes a month, it's in position 76. So naturally, this automatically excluded it. But knowing what I know and just wanting to build an accurate forecast in terms of what we're going to attack here, right? Uh, you know we might want to move them up even more or add them back in so again just based on the keywords that they you, they have that you know are going to be important for that campaign if we say okay actually seo report you know it's in position 76 so like i think in the next 12 months i can get that up to position 10. so keep in mind over here this is the terminal position after 12 months you can see this just moved up to 74 percent you can also say okay miami seo were six but that's going to be a key key keyword for us so i'm going to bump that up to number one you can see this one goes up so you can just keep going through here right 
and you can filter based on, okay, let's say anything in Miami, we're gonna own that market. So now we look at all these Miami keywords, right? I can hit this and I can say, okay, uh, I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna wanna move these all to position one because I know that's gonna be key focus. Now, again, that might be a little bit too dramatic for you, but again, the point is that you have the ability to search based on keyword, you have the ability to search based on position, you have the base position to search based on value. There's a whole bunch of different options that we give you in here in order to do that. You can also use advanced uh, keyword ser searches over here to exclude. So we can say, okay, uh, we're gonna look at all the target positions that is not equal to exclude. So now we can just get a list of keywords that are not excluded that we just wanna go through and perf yeah, increase performance on a little bit more. So that's scenario two. Then we come over here, scenario three, you can see that this is already calculated for us. So this is just new keyword growth. So this is saying, all these keyword sources you can see the keyword source went from existing keywords to the domain so now we can see which domain is providing this keyword and we can see if we want to implement this in terms of our website so again first thing you do i always like to start with the auto apply positions here because um again this will take a lot of legwork off for us and just based on the logic here you know we've vetted this logic uh, it's going to save you quite a bit of time especially if you've got a big analysis to do if there's a couple thousand rows of keyword research here um, this will help you to dramatically speed this process up now the other thing here so this just went back down of course um, the other thing here is if this number is too high right which is usually what i find is that this number is too high especially for like again we work with law firms right they're probably not going to see a three thousand percent increase in traffic in one year so what we really want to do is just go through these and remove all the ones that we do not find hyper relevant right so when we say avo uh these are all filtered by search volume here right so we can just go through and say like all these ones like juicia like fine law avo lawyer Martindale, Avo Lawyers, like these are not keywords that we, this is a, a attorney's name, right? So these are not things that we're gonna wanna put in here. Now, law firm SEO, definitely. SEO for lawyers, we're gonna wanna put in here, but like maybe not position one if we're not currently ranking, um, you know, just based on that alone. We threw best lawyer, uh, gifts for lawyers, lawyer marketing, we'll probably wanna keep, right? So I can just come through and just auto select these to exclude these, right? Because they're just not keywords that we're gonna go after, right? So again, then we can say, okay, uh, it still didn't go down that much. Now, if we say target position is equal to one, we can say, because these are gonna be the ones that based on our forecasting numbers are gonna drive the, most of these puts back in, are gonna drive is equal to one. Okay, because these are gonna be the ones that are gonna provide the most traffic. So now we can go through here and say, okay, you know, for law firm SEO, uh, we're not currently ranking for this one, so, maybe moving us all the way to position one is gonna be a little bit aggressive here. So if we just kind of went through here, there's 652 of these as well, by the way. So if we just go through the top ones that are gonna be providing the most ones. Now, granted, again, some of these, so like lawyer advertising, all these ones, personal injury marketing, so for law firms, so legal SEO. So all these ones are gonna be key for us, right? So we could say, let's move these to position five. Right, should drop down even more. And then all the ones like lawyer gifts, gifts for lawyers, logos, legal symbols, all these ones that are really just not hyper relevant to us at all, or ones that we'll probably even want to uh, go after. Again, because we want to focus on the, the bottom funnel ones here. We can now move all these ones to just exclude. All right, so these are just different strategies that we can use to continuously chip away at that number. Now when we go to the next step. Now we come to the final reporting screen, which has also gotten a very big makeover, as you can see. So we've combined them all into one chart. In the previous version, there were four charts. The reason is because the fourth chart was saying the same thing as the first chart. It just makes more sense to report like this. So you can filter this in different ways. So like, for example, if you wanted those old charts, this is it, you just have to extract the other one. So if you said, okay, we just want our historical traffic. We just want that uh, based on next year's forecast. This is what it would be, right? If we're gonna do nothing, this is how much traffic that we can expend at the end of next year. It's a negative 46% decrease if we do nothing, right? Now we can say, okay, what if we just factored in existing keywords here now too? And that's this number here, thousand up 68% year over year. Now we can start to again, uh, factor in maybe new keywords here. This is gonna be a much larger growth and then total potential of course is gonna be the biggest one. 
So these are just different ways that you can illustrate this. And then you also have this nice dashboard down here that tells them, uh, you know, expected growth rate over the year and then total expected traffic. Now, again, for us, this actually isn't, it's a big number, but it's not unreasonable. If you're hitting on all cylinders, right? And like I showed you, there's ways that you can continuously get this number down. But if you're hitting on all cylinders, this is possible. <laughs> it is possible to, to get this level of growth if you're targeting the right keywords, building the right content, getting the right links. But again, this is pie in the sky, best case, case scenario. So if this number again is too high for you, you can always go back and you can just keep editing this number until you get it down. You can keep adjusting these numbers, right? Until you get them exactly where you want them to be uh, or in a place that's more reasonable, right? So for us with law firms, I usually try and get this number down to like 500 to a thousand percent, just depending on how they're currently doing. Like if they have no traffic <laughs> and they're tanking, then you're like uh, showing anything above like a couple hundred percent growth rate is just going to be unreasonable, right? So we've also added in here too some adjusting charts. We're going to keep adding to this and building this reporting out more and more and more. Uh, but top existing keyword targets, right? To show them um, these are their existing keywords in terms of what they're currently ranking, and then the target position that we apply to it, and then the projected traffic based off of that, right? Um, and then also over here, new keyword targets. This is where they're coming from, right? These are paid, these are this is content that they do not currently have keywords that they do not currently have the volume, the target position based off that, right? So this is the final report here, um, much, much cleaner, uh, much more agile. We'll be continuously adding to this as well. Now, there's something else that I wanna show you as well, is that if you wanted to build a forecast here, just off of not using competitors, right? So if we just wanted to look at, um, so Weber's agency two, right? And we don't put competitor names in here, and then we just do this. Law firm SEO. So we can add as many of these as we want. We come to this step, right? Go to the filter keywords, great. It's not gonna pull those through because we didn't put competitors in here, so it's not a problem, right? And then on this page here, it's gonna show us growth for existing keywords, right? So let's just leave that as is. And then now it's gonna pull through just the must have keyword source, right? So it's gonna ping the volume, the cost per click, and now we're gonna be able to add positions in here for these keywords that will adjust this as well. Um, and then again, we can go to the final report over here and you'll see how this impacts this final report. But again, if you wanted to have a, a forecast that was not looking at competitors or random keywords that you don't really care about, then the process you wanna follow is use the existing keyword rankings and then also tack on um, the must have, gotta have keywords on top of that. So as always, if y'all have more questions about this, we're here, just hit us up, support. Uh, here to answer any questions and help you make this adjustment and also feedback. The more feedback you guys give us, the better we make this tool. So uh, hopefully we'll talk to you soon.